Okay, one of our customers uh, has asked us to, um, we often uh, represent other people and uh, it's always interesting just to see <laughs> what um, uh, what we might do for them. Um, this one is one that was uh, put up for sale and um, uh, someone spoke to me about what they'd like be prepared to pay for it if it was all up and running and I said, oh God, I don't know. Anyway, I said, look, with what's being asked for it, I suppose it's a bit of a lucky dip, but um, you make the call. And this is sort of not the sort of radio that I'm generally... Um, you're going to see one of these that uh, is very, very nice very soon. Um, and, you know, just um, a very original, <clears throat> excuse me, um, 2795 high gain where this one has had a rotten life and I'm just trying to work out uh, on my client's behalf just what the heck we do with this thing. Um, I haven't even worked out if it works yet. Um, and when I start showing you some stuff, you'll... Um, yeah. Now, this was sold as working but needs a tune and said that it had some problems with um, screws in the case, which uh, you can obviously see... Uh, screws broken in the case so the person's represented it um, to some degree um, uh, that you know broken screws um, now we've pulled off um, this tape um, that was on the side here and um, obviously you can see for good reason that all these panels need total rework oh you can see how we started to pull the tape off here because we want to obviously try and advise our chap just what to do here um, and um, I was very iffy on this I actually got him to offer a little bit less on it and um, um, have a look at this I don't know what this is I, I honestly don't I don't know what the heck's happened with these plates here now um, uh, and all the knobs are gone they're, they're terrible um, now luckily that's one thing I was just having a play with luckily I had a whole lot of old high gain fives and that. So I thought, and I did say this to my client. I said, look, the one good thing you got going for it is that I might be able to clean some of it up, you know, sort of with some of the old high gain part, uh, five parts. Never did I think, um, like things like the squelch is broken on the, the, the back here. So I've put a knob on it because the knob was missing, but no, it doesn't go anywhere. It's just stuck, um, absolutely stuck. And um, now it has got an interesting little board in it. Now I'm not sure whose board this is. Um, as far, I don't know if there's any any sort of... Uh, let's have a look here. Okay, so programming. Yeah, I, <clears throat> if, um, I, I've had very little to do with these boards, so if anybody recognises this board, I'd just be curious to know what it is. And you can see how it's just been fitted down there. Uh, but it doesn't actually have a branding as such. There's a part number. 6015... 425A, why uh, goes on and on. OLED 1 display, they're off that. Some programming there. It'd be interesting to know whose board it is just to, you know, be able to... Uh, that seems to be working. I mean, just the very quick look I've had. Um, uh, just hang on, just bring that up a bit. Yeah, just, just having a look at this, you know, push the... I, I put another channel knob on it. It had... Um, this thing here that was just looking terrible. I thought, well, this one's not perfect, but it'll do for now. This is a bit better function. Um, let's see. All right, nothing. Hmm, okay. Uh, actually, it's not doing much, is it? Not doing much at all. Now, that may be a... <clears throat> excuse me, because there's other functions. Let's turn it off and turn on again. I wonder if it's locked up even. Okay, so that'll just... No, it's remembered where it... Oh, there we go. Okay. So now we're getting frequency. Yeah, apparently this high gain 5 goes from 1 meg right up to... Um, where's it go? 299 meg, 100 meg. Yeah. Okay, let's let's just kind of work out that that's not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> anyway. So... See, that's not very... I don't know if you can see that, sorry. Um, all right. So let's put it back up to 20 seven megs for the heck of it now i've clicked it once that's one kilohertz clicked it twice actually it's not one kilohertz it's hertz 100 hertz here now i've just caused myself a bit of a problem there too because what will happen is 
Right, all right, so we can see we can get up and down the band a bit just by clicking it. It's a little bit painful, to be honest. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be real impressed with this. Uh, where'd it go then? Which one's that on? Yeah, okay, so is that now megahertz? Yep, and that's back here. So we really want to get these back onto uh, probably a zero there, then a zero there for the heck of it, and then you just sort of leave these on zeros. And this one back, just for the convenience factor for the moment, on a five. And um, and then sort of when we come over here then, whoops, yeah, so then we can sort of go, etc., etc. All right, let's see if it receives and transmits. I mean, that would be a plus, we'll see. Okay, so we're on, um, we'll put on the test monitor on 27355, which is what the display says. Got a carrier there, one, two, three, no audio, no mic audio at all. One, two, one, two, one, two. What does this do? Anything? One, two, one, no. You never know what people have done with some of the switches. One, two, one, two, one, two, no. All right, and this piece of rubbish microphone. I wonder if they've even got, yeah, makes me wonder. I wonder if the mic's actually correct for it. Um, look, I don't know the chap very well that this was bought from in any way, shape or form, so I don't know what the background is, but yeah, that's not doing much, is it? Uh, and obviously, because we've got no mic audio, one, two, one, two, hollow, 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 hollow. Okay, that's interesting. So it's got no FM mod, but when we go to sideband, let's have a little try again there. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Miles off, but anyway. Um, try there. One, two, one, two, one, two. Oh my God, yeah, that's terrible. Uh, let's just put on a 15 watt scale and one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Well, the chap did say he needs a tune. Um, it's more than a tune, <laughs> but that could be his interpretation of it, you know, which is fair. Um, from a non technical point, um, you know, that might be just it. Yeah, you know, just out of interest, that's interesting. See how the ABCD now does nothing. Um, so what they've done is they've gone completely onto this fella here, uh, which I suppose makes sense, but um. Uh, let's see if it receives even. Let's put a signal into it. Have a bit of a look. We'll go over there. Oh, take that down a bit. Uh, let's put a little bit of signal into it. Now, I wonder if you've still got the S meter working over there or if they've completely gone to here. Uh, probably help if I plug the speaker in too. Where have we got a speaker? All right, hang on. I'll just do that. Oh, boy. So, I'm hearing something, but this clarifier does absolutely nothing. Oh, weird. Wow, if I could get this guy's money back, I would. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know how much we're going to suggest he... Oh, man. This is terrible. Oh. Oh, boy. Yeah, okay. Uh, terrible. And once again, nothing happening there. Hmm. Ah, uh, this is, um, this. <laughs> this is very interesting because in here it looks like they tried to do something with the clarifier, but no, nothing's happening. That's. No, this is just not a radio that needs a couple of screws and a tune. Um, this radio, uh, unfortunately, I think my good mate, even though I've represented the radio to, you know, try and say, well, all right, we'll give it a go for you. I think it is a one that I'm not sure we would bother going too far into. We'll see, though. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. We're getting a bit of trans on the side, man. One, two. Just, I'm not on frequency anywhere close. Um, it should be, but it's not. One, two, one, two. And that's not a tune problem. <laughs> it's much more than a tune problem. Um, yeah. Just having a bit of a look um, when you look up the top here. Yeah, sorry, you can see just up that top little layer. I, I had the wrong angle. You know, one meg, one hertz, 10 hertz, one kilohertz. So if I move that, one, two, one, two. And let's go to the side end. Let's find out where it really thinks it is. No, not there. 
One, two, one, two. No, no, it doesn't think it's anywhere near there. One, two, one, two. Oh my goodness. One, two, one, two. No, no. I'm, I'm having a bit of a play here just to see if we can get fine. Yeah, one, two. No, miles off. I, I want my other test set with the spec M to just watch a couple of things as well. But I'm surprised the clarifier does absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. No. Hmm. Well, what do you think? <laughs> oh boy. I mean, with the condition of this radio's, like all this rust and deterioration on the cases, etc. Um, I've probably got spare cases, you know, to do a rebuild. Um, this is the old Super Panther Mark II. Um, board in this no, they're okay you know um, just worries me a little bit what um, what's been going on here the more I'm looking into it I'm just sort of going yeah hmm all right well I don't know this this is bad very bad and unfortunately me changing a few knobs on it is not going to uh, make this radio better <laughs> you know, isn't it funny? I went to that just, just for the aesthetics to say, oh, um, I did have one of these little ones here to go on there, but unfortunately, they use a different size. They have a D shaft on there and the high gain fives. Um, otherwise, you know, we'd have a really reasonably clean set of knobs on it. But um, I've never seen anything this bad. I've, you know, um, it's funny, I was saying to a mate of mine, Damien, um, who I got the 2795 from. Oh, because he said, I saw this thing on VK Classifieds, and I said, oh, well, actually, a client of mine asked me to represent him on this one, and, uh, uh, <laughs> and I said, uh, I said I'll, I'll, I'll do a video on the, on the radio when we get it in, and um, um, <laughs> Damien said, good luck, <laughs> and I said, yeah, 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 no, and I think I said something like, ah, we'll be fine, mm, yeah, I'm not sure we'll be fine, was, uh, yeah, anyway, look, I don't know. What would you think of something like this if you were doing a restoration, Mr. Paul Ashby? <laughs> I think you'd say run. Yes. Yeah. Look, it's um, capable of getting it back to being something that could be quite reasonable. Um, but this is just a video really more to show you, you know, sometimes what comes through the door um, and what to be a little bit cautious of. Um, and, you know, I'm not having a shot at the owner. Um, he's got a whole lot of CBs and pieces and bits that he's offered me and I obviously got this and went well I don't think we want the other bits um, and it may just be that you know he just doesn't know um, but um, things like this and see we're having a bit of look, look at the cases and just saying you know, you know personally I, I wouldn't have put this stuff on I, I'd repaint these cases and we're just having a bit of a quick look to say well what's the scenario I mean things like these screws can be you know the holes can be done we've got old chassis here where we probably could take you know panels and replace here but just a matter you've always got to be estimating you know what is the finished product going to really look like um, both cosmetically and you know how's it going to perform um, the board looks all right you know we're seeing a lot of signs of like someone dropped this in water or something um, but the board actually looks quite okay uh, although no there are some signs actually no no sorry have a look down there yeah yeah no uh, there's been a lot of moisture oh my god yeah forget what i just said uh, as i'm getting my eyes are terrible these days um um no no this so it's taken a big hit around this area and this is why this radio could never possibly ever be really you know reliable unfortunately yeah all right well I'm going to suggest to my client, and I don't know what you think, but I'm going to suggest that I put a polite email to the uh, chap who supplied it to say, mate, look, um, you know, look, even happy to help you um, maybe make it work a bit better than it does, but um, I, I don't think it's for for my... Um, there's just too much that was represented that is it's just not what it... it yeah, anyway. Um, it's... It's just not one I would think you would go too crazy on. Sorry, more I'm just looking down, you know, seeing all these, look at all the rust. I mean, these are, you know, 
critical. No wonder the things, the mic audio and everything's just so bad. I mean, uh, the carrier balance is way off, and you know, it's actually producing a signal. You know, it's getting some RF out because the RF stage, um, from what I can see, hasn't been affected. Down the side here, uh, not so bad as far as the moisture, but all the carrier area and um, even what we're hearing in some of the receiver area, yeah, no, there's some things here. And, and the fact that um, this is not a tune like it was suggested in the advert, one, two. Um, this, this has got no FM audio, one, two, no, there's nothing there. Um, I, I hate to say it, um, and my mate will be watching this tonight when he gets home from work, and he'll just go, oh, what the, <laughs> did I? <laughs> oh, God. Um, you know who you are. I'm glad you paid me for this up front. Jeez. Um, <laughs> and by the way, it was, yes, it was his choice to sort of go ahead with it. But I sort of said to him, I said, look, um, how bad can it be? And I feel a bit responsible there because how bad can it be? I, I never would have imagined. Um, I would have never imagined anything this bad um, ever. It is just, it, look, you know, maybe there's some worth in the board there that, you know, that could be put into something else uh, that's a little bit more reliable. I don't know whose design it is. So um, if you watch this video and you recognize this design, it'd be interesting to know, you know, just who um, who made these boards. Um, looks sort of US design, I, I think. I, I don't know. Really don't know. Um, but um, just, yeah, be, be careful when you're buying radios out there. Um, and, you know, um, and I, I once again, look, I'm not here to give the guy who sold it to us a hard time. Not at all, I, I couldn't care less. I mean, this is, um, was under a couple of hundred bucks. So, you know, look, I'm not concerned about that. Um, and look, um, neither will my, you know, well, my client probably will be, to be fair. Um, but, you know, sort of, um, you can only sort of estimate and work out um, what's written on an advert. There's no way you can know. <laughs> certain things <laughs> uh, until you get the product but um yeah maybe when you're talking to people about buying radios they're a little bit sus definitely get them to send you some inside shots so you can examine you know a board shot like this would would have told us a lot um because if we could have come in and gone like this and then said you know without um magnified you know sort of uh of the photo oh look at those trans look at this no no this is gone yeah look Every trim pot on this right hand side needs to be replaced, but I'm seeing transistors with legs that are corroded, diodes with legs that are corroded. You, yeah, you, you just could never call this reliable. Um, I look, I, I, and I'm making a decision here that no, I don't want to work on this and and spend the rest of my life um, chasing faults on it. It's um, it, it'll it'll be unreliable. But anyway, tell me your thoughts. I um, I don't know. Um, I've seen worse, but. I don't know how much worse. Uh, it's up there. But, uh, yeah. What do you think? It, to get caught in a flood or something? Or, I don't know. Yeah, see, oh, it's got some real sensitive stuff going on there. Hear those noises just then? I mean, we're still generating a tone into it. Let me take that tone off. Oh, no. It still makes that, that, that microprocessor noise even without. Oh, my God. Oh, really? Yeah. So, okay, so it's got that board here. It's obviously producing a processor noise. Um, see, and this locks up all the time. No, see how that, it's, we, we haven't done anything, and it's just locked up. And I think that's where that noise is coming from. Hmm, well, what an interesting one. Could have been a great example of a uh, modification to a high gain five, but unfortunately, it's a great example of be careful what you buy um, out there in the marketplace because, you know, that front panel, it looks like a 2795 styled uh, radio uh, or a 2790, but it is anything but that. Um, but I've got coming up for you something I will never sell. Thank you, Mr. Damien. You are a legend. You know who you are. Um, I'll show that video very soon because you will look at the difference between this here and what... Um, uh, Damien sold me and you'll just go oh why would you bother with this I agree um, look Damien was very generous to to me um, on this particular one that you'll see and he's a great guy and those of you who know me know who Damien is because you know Damien but I just don't want to give too much away 
in Victoria. <laughs> He's a great mate of mine. And uh, um, yeah, as I said, when you see this next radio, oh, that bloody noise. No, that's this thing stuffed. Um, you watch, the noise will go away when I do this. No, it doesn't, but it becomes not locked up again, but it'll lock up again. Yeah, no, nah, she's a goner. All right, I'm going to email the chap and just say, look, um, check out my video, and if you've got any, you know, sort of um, um, thoughts on refunding this one, I'd, I'd love to refund my customer because um, uh, I think it's a dead loss. All right, guys, I don't normally do jobs like this. It was, it's only because he's a very, very, very good mate of mine that I got conned into doing this one um so don't come to me and say hey by the way i've got a mod job i want to do one and so no i don't do this anymore it was just because he's a mate my eyesight's failing so much at the moment with uh, some of the stuff going on that no I don't, i'm just um off the tools a bit for the moment but um uh yeah so um yeah don't hit me up i'm i'm you know uh, just buy things from me we're gonna get rid of all the stuff all right guys 73 is one high gain five that words I lack to say any more. Please subscribe. Uh, please um, drop a note in the comments file if you recognise what the um, uh, what the the borders in this, because um, I'm sort of curious myself. Um, I'll just give you a very good look at it. Um, it says version three, and that says USB ten meters. Does that mode change? No, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. That no, nothing happens. Anyway, terrible, 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 terrible. Hit the like button. That was the other thing. Hit the like button, guys. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. I want to see a thousand likes on this video or a thousand dislikes because apparently it doesn't change. The algorithm still says Brenton's a good guy even if you say you hate me. Isn't that great that you can hit the, the negative button? Uh, anyway. All right, guys. This is 21 minutes. 22 minutes of your life you can never get back on a high gain five. 73s, guys. All the best.